you were saying about corruption, have you received like any kind of offers? In your career, what was the most challenging moment? Too many, bro. One, obviously, is when I had to make the judgment call. I will continue my post as a minister, chief of political party, or do I go into political wilderness in opposition? But a more principled path. I took that path and I still defend that path because being young, I sacrificed my principles and values so early for positions and power. It's just not worth it. But it led me to many different things. Brought to court. I lost all my posts, kicked out from the party which I co-founded. But I don't regret it. It's better for me to learn. Through hardship, you tend to learn a lot more. How do you counter that problem? What doesn't kill you make it stronger when you are put through hardship whether you like it or not you'll have to toughen up if you don't then get out of the kitchen if you can't handle the heat in order to build and make Malaysia a developed country it requires a lot of sacrifice the late Kuan Yu I love his quote whoever wants to govern Singapore will need to have the iron in him or just give it up for any leader to make Malaysia a developed country you really need to have the iron the titanium whatever hard metals in you to really turbocharge the country forward so what goals do you have for the nation I want Malaysia to become a developed country I want anyone regardless of race religion socioeconomic background to realize his or her true potential if he or she works hard based on merit, based on value, not based on race, religion, or socioeconomic background, or family members who are rich. In the end, it's about creating a Malaysia in which all Malaysians can proudly call this place, this land, their home. Even if you are born into the poorest family with hard work, merit, you can climb up the socioeconomic ladder like a person who's born into a rich, affluent family. What was the reason that you look up to the late economy? Strong leadership with Asian characteristics. Leading any country in Asia is not easy. We are truly multiracial, multi-religious communities. Any countries in ASEAN is very diverse. A lot of the countries are of developing status. A lot of temptations for corruption. But yet, it was able to power through Singapore to become one of the most modern cosmopolitan democracies in the world. I am a Democrat, huge believer in democracy and strong institutions. Getting that right balance of strengthening institutions, handing over a country to the following generation to build a great foundation for future leaders coming in. That's intergenerational success. Which not many people can. When was the last time you cried? Malaysian politics as I told you, you have to toughen up, right? But I mean, I'll tell you, in happiness, right before Ramadan started, I completed my first half Ironman distance race. Two kilometers of swimming in open sea, 90 kilometers of cycling. Didn't do much training, but I was able to really survive through willpower. I did expect I could do it. Very happy moment. You were saying about corruption. So have you received like any kind of offers? Oh, so many. Oh, really? Right, one is illegal, one is unethical. There are two parts. When I first joined politics, I lodged a police report that has been documented as well. I was offered millions. I really got a place into Oxford. I was even offered a full scholarship to leave my party. But I didn't. You're always in debate. This skill just picked up itself. First mistake of being a good debater or a good politician is thinking that you're always right. You're not. That's something which I always have to remind and humble myself to. But being a good politician doesn't mean you need to know everything. You need to be humble enough to reach out to people who do know, ask for their advice and help. I'm not an expert when it comes to healthcare policies. But I have friends who are doctors, who are healthcare practitioners, ask for their advice. And then I formulate my ideas and plans together with them. Same when it comes to education. Politics is above and beyond any single person in the country. It's not about what you think is right. You do something well, 30 million Malaysians will get the benefit of it. You do something wrong, 30 million Malaysians will suffer. So what's your best investment? My family. You will be financially comfortable, but emotionally unstable. Having oh. a good emotional support structure is a lot more valuable. Because when a tough gets going, you have friends and family members you can speak to. When I say family, don't just think about your bloodline. Huh? Friends who you treat like family. Being with them, best investment portfolio. Relationships are what makes people happy, right? That's true. So who do you cherish the most? My parents. My mom. Served her life teaching she was a workaholic wake up early in the morning to prepare food for me and my father because my father will travel to Singapore commute every day and then after that she will go to teach in the public school 7.30 in the morning until 2.30 her first tuition class is at 4.30 to 6.30 and after that she'll cook dinner and the next tuition class from 8 o'clock to 10pm she does that almost every day even and now she has just retired she still wants to teach the underprivileged for free I think she's my source of inspiration she's a true public servant she's a great mother including my dad works non-stop man waking up 4.30 in the morning commutes to Singapore every day they'll only come back about 11pm at night because traffic you know how horrible both our countries need to resolve for good we have the busiest traffic in the world man recently 500,000 a day it's crazy both our countries have quite good decent innovative ideas put it to work to resolve it when you were a kid what did you want to be? a teacher from a teacher what made you change to being a politician? I can be the best teacher in Malaysia but I think in order for me to create the best education system for Malaysians and to help other teachers be the best you have to change politics because politics is the epicenter of change thank you so much for today thanks man